Namaste. Uh, good morning, everyone. So today um, we have with us uh, Dr. Priya. So she's been with us uh, for a few months already, but we thought we'd make a nice video and introduce you all, introduce her to you all. So she's an oculoplastic surgeon, meaning a surgeon who's done her specialization around the eyes, but also a facial aesthetic physician. So she knows, she knows a lot about facial aesthetics and how by giving fillers or on the other side by Botox, you can augment facial aesthetics and solve many issues. So we thought I would introduce her to you all today. I'm also going to let her talk about her expertise, about what she's good at and how this can be useful to our set of patients who come for various types of facial treatments. So Dr. Priya, um, why don't you tell our audience about uh, blepharoplasty, let's say, or baggy eyes and how uh, this uh, can make them look so much more livelier, so much more younger and your little bit about your training also. Yeah. Um, hi. Um, first of all, I thank uh, Dr. Sunil Richardson for uh, giving me this opportunity to introduce oh, myself. Uh, so I uh, finished my uh, oculoplasties fellowship in uh, Arvind Eye Hospital, Pondicherry. And uh, also I uh, finished my short term fellowship in uh, ocular aesthetic. Uh, in uh, the aesthetic clinic in Mumbai. Uh, so coming to your question, sir, uh, depend, uh, blepharoplasty, there is uh, two, uh, we can do it in upper lid and also in lower lid. Uh, for uh, upper lid, there is a condition called dermatocalysis. Uh, what is this? Uh, loosening of the upper eyelid skin. Uh, so for uh, cosmetic purpose, we can remove the skin uh, and uh, gives, it gives you an uh, young look. So we can uh, do upper lid blepharoplasty for that purpose and also coming to lower lid blepharoplasty um, for uh, eye bag and uh, so many wrinkles. So patients are having uh, eye bags and wrinkles so to remove the eye bag that is uh, a protrusion of the excess fat. Uh, for that we are doing lower lid blepharoplasty. Uh, both is a cosmetic uh, surgery Procedures, procedure. Yeah. So the lower eye bags that she's saying, the three eye bags that you have, the medial, central and the lateral. So depending on which bag is protrusive or with, with which fat pad needs to be removed and how much needs to be removed, that is our expertise. And the second thing is about the, the procedure. Uh, we do it under local anesthesia, local anesthesia or sometimes under general anesthesia when we combine with some other procedures procedure. like the chin, like what she helped us with. So basically it could be a part of the face makeover or you could just choose to get the eyelids done. Now most common question, will there be pain? What's my recovery period? Okay. And uh, like you know, what are the things they need to do? Let's for let's say for a week or so. Okay. After uh, blepharoplasty, let's say. Well, what he said is like um, uh, we can do it in both general anesthesia mm -hmm. and uh, also in local anesthesia. If we are doing multiple procedures like a jaw surgery and uh, so many uh, rhinoplasty with along with this, we can go with general anesthesia. Uh, only blepharoplasty, it is a uh, local anesthetic procedure. Yeah, it's a daycare. Uh, daycare <clears throat> procedure. Morning you can do and evening you can uh, uh, go, go home. Uh, so it is a very simple procedure. Simple, simple. but it's also very fine. Fine, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that because shows you are experienced. Patient con concern yeah. is uh, more in that because so many people need some millimeter change uh, itself a uh, big concern for them. So. Lower for lower blepharoplasty, um, it is a local anesthetic procedure. Yeah. Uh, it's a local anesthetic procedure. Um, um, recovery time is like for it will put a minimal small incision, which is a subciliary incision below the lower eyelid, and uh, for, with, we will uh, after finishing it, we'll finish it with suture only. It will uh, go uh, after seven days. We will remove. We've already seen our videos. So blepharoplasty is done, a small incision is made very, very close really? to the eyelid, which is not going to be visible. We could be using 6O that is very, very fine, like as thin as your hair, stitches. These stitches, however, even though they are dissolvable, need to be removed. And she recommends that they be removed on day 7. So the big question is, if you're traveling and coming in from Mumbai or Canberra or wherever, what happens is you could either choose to go back and get it done there or you could stay with us in a hotel nearby, come back to us on a daycare and we'll do that for you. But that needs to be done. Now, also with regards to the final healing, uh, you think it's going to be a month or a little yeah, more? Yeah, it takes month? one and a half months right. to get the normal crease line. Correct. Till then, you have to wait. And uh, 
hundred percent age you will get a good uh, eye lower eyelid crease after blepharoplasty. So, what do you think are the rare complications or something that can occur with this? Can the eye turn red, for example? And if it does happen, then what do you think they should do? Yeah, is it something is to very, be alarmed? Yeah, that is very important because uh, immediately after surgery, you will get uh, minimal redness, uh, like it, uh, we used to say subconjunctival hemorrhage uh, and uh, little bruise and swelling below the lower eyelid. But everything is temporary. It will go off within five days. Maximum seven days it will go off. After that, everything will become normal. So Absolutely. no need to worry about uh, vision. Every uh, all the patients used to ask us that uh, is there is any uh, vision loss after blepharoplasty. So there is no vision loss, and also the uh, redness and the swelling is temporary. Everything will go off. And in case you didn't understand, when we said oculoplasty, that means she's already an ophthalmic surgeon. Yeah. So she's already an eye surgeon, and then who specialized into this. So obviously you don't have to worry about the eye issues because she already knows about all of that as it is before she does this. So therefore there's nothing to worry about vision or loss of, loss of, loss of vision or anything. Right, now we, so we finished about blepharoplasty, baggy eyes and whatever. The other issue is when the eyes close too much, the eyelids, you know. Yeah, so ptosis or... So what would you uh, suggest to them? What do you think about this ptosis and yeah. how we can address there this are, issue? There uh, are many causes for ptosis. Uh, sometimes... Uh, baby well, congenital. congenital with birth itself uh, uh, they'll get a ptosis and in adult mostly you will get a senile ptosis senile ptosis and this congenital uh, congenital ptosis you can treat with surgery other conditions like uh, nerve damage in uh, uh, nerve damages in eye muscle like uh, um, a third nerve palsy or a myasthenia gravis it Rare is a, some accidents yeah uh, in accidents it is a Permanent, uh, not like permanent, after six months you will get a uh, recovery from its uh, own. But for senile and uh, congenital uh, ptosis, you have to go for uh, surgery and also for mechanical ptosis. That is some uh, tumor, yeah. uh, cyst or swelling which is uh, compressing the upper eyelid. Uh, for uh, that you are getting ptosis, you, if you remove that uh, conditions, then you will get... Uh, Alright, uh, perfect. Uh, but, so what you need to understand is if you have an issue with the eyelid, it doesn't close well, it remains open, we can solve that. And on the other side, if it closes too much, that can be sorted out as well. So any issues with the eyelid, she's really, really good. And I keep telling a lot of our subscribers who ask us, every member of our team, if it's not as good as me, it's better. So we try to have a team that is really taking care of our patients in the best possible way. So you don't have to worry about that. The motive of this video is to let you all know that any issues with the eyelid, both the upper and the lower, she's like brilliant with it, she'll be able to take care of it without any issues whatsoever. Moving one step further is the orbit. So orbit is the bone that encases the eye and the eye is suspended with ligaments on this bony case called the orbit. So as I said, she's an oculoplastic surgeon with the ophthalmic background and I'm a craniofacial surgeon. So we also able together handle many issues like for example, cruzons or any other congenital or major orbital fractures and NOE, that is naso orbital ethmoidal fractures that wreck havoc with the orbit per se. You can already watch our YouTube channels. We've got lots of videos trying to tell how these kind of issues involving the eye, the bony eye and the position of the eye itself can be altered. Yeah. So there itself, you know, we work as a team in those kind of cases because she can handle the soft tissue part of it well. In, yeah, in a condition like a proptosis, you yes. get for a uh, you know, thyroid, thyroid or issue. Or proptosis is a condition when your eye is like popping out. Popping out proptosis yes. is like Big when your eye is, yes. Condition. So even that can be solved. So any issues with related to the eyes, uh, whether it's sunken in, whether it's asymmetrically positioned, whether you're not able to open the eyes. And, well, the hardest part is to give vision, I mean, right? If someone yeah, doesn't have vision. Uh, <laughs> but apart from that, pretty much a lot of the things can be addressed. If you have any more questions, uh, you can feel free to send the questions to the WhatsApp or to the messages beneath this video. We will answer them. You can also directly ask for an online consultation with Dr. Priya, that's her name. And she would be kind enough to come and get that consultations done with you. So if you have any queries, that can be answered before you go in and set an appointment.
so, almost so frequent yeah. questions several will ask us uh, will blepharoplasty will reduce dark circle correct yes uh, absolutely so, uh, dark circle you cannot uh, remove completely after blepharoplasty you can uh, make it less visible okay. after blepharoplasty so in some, uh, patients, some patients there could so. be an improvement with blepharoplasty yeah. uh, for the dark circles dark right circles. yeah i and remember then, uh, you telling me a lot of things about dark circle yeah. improvement i probably make another video on this because there's a whole lot of things yeah. for that but because if you do have that all concern females, uh, absolutely concern. yes and so so that's also something yeah. you can take care of right so also dark circles is something should be able to take care of very easily and uh, besides we also mentioned the fillers and botox just when we started the video why don't you tell our audience a little bit about your expertise and about using these fillers and botox i don't do a lot of them myself so you can yeah. just tell them what um, you want to do fillers if um, many patients are not are willing to do surgery because they are more uh, scared about surgery or that uh, recovery uh, time it's a little uh, yeah. long so that kind of patient so many patients having comorbidities like so many other other exactly. uh, body conditions yeah, so they can we can't do surgery for that do surgery for that kind of patient filler is a life saver um, thing very big thing for them uh, even though it stays for around 4 to 6 months but it is a real uh, life saver for them for to maintain the contour or whatever uh, their need is yeah mm, uh, uh, sir is doing a uh, rhinoplasty surgical rhinoplasty with fillers we can do non surgical rhinoplasty Absolutely. with uh, fillers so fillers are like a magical uh, thing yeah, it will do uh, so many magical things like uh, non surgical blepharoplasty and uh, uh, eye trough that uh, saggy and uh, sad looking uh, eyes uh, after fillers you can get more uh, fullness. Fr- fullness it will give fresh look for you uh, and also in lip and jaw everything uh, you can use fillers and uh, make your yeah. uh, i had a lot of patients who come yeah. especially for follow ups who be yeah. asking these kind of queries so this is really good news for you all because now you can get that thing done very easily at our own place at richardson so feel free to drop in your questions if you have any queries you can let us know and you can schedule an appointment with us on the whatsapp numbers that we're going to give beneath um i think that was lot so thank you i hope this video was useful um we going to hopefully come and yeah. give them more videos yeah, sure. on fillers and on other procedures as and when the cases happen so do stick around and thank you and god bless bye bye